Everyone is already waiting inside. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's join them! Please, wait a moment. Before attending the meeting, I hope you can promise me one thing. What do you need? Promise me that you won't commit to anything too reckless. Okay. We already discussed things a bit. Hey, where have you been? I've missed you two. Are you ready? Very well. Are you sure this is gonna work? I gotta admit, it's bold. Color me impressed. Hmm. <sighs> It's worth a try. The point of discussion is to arrive at a solution. Let's cut the small talk and move to the next point. Uh, you're making Paimon nervous. You're finally done. I have some other stuff to take care of. Catch you all later. Come on, don't give me that face. I know what you're going to say. I'll be careful. 
That's what I wanted to hear. Take care. Well, traveler, Paimon, judging from your expressions, the meeting must have been quite productive. You can tell? I'm not that good at scheming a strategy, but I can sense people's emotions. And based on your reaction, things must have gone quite well. Uh, Paimon's a little worried. Hopefully nothing will go wrong. To be honest, I feel the same. But you're already some of the most capable people I know. So you have my trust. <laughs> Candace gave us a compliment! Your deeds speak for themselves. Candace, we stayed behind to tell you that, although you won't be coming with us, we'll be sure to remember your words. I'm very glad to hear that. I've said the same thing to everyone here today as I said to you when you arrived. Your safety is the most important thing. Only when you're safe can the plan be successful. So please, take care. You're welcome. And thank you for taking my advice. Good luck. With everything. I'll be here in the village praying for you. Hey! As long as I just keep talking up like outside of the village, people will keep flocking to me. Hmm, sounds good. I'll go make some preparations. Okay. I'll hate them! Have you finished saying your goodbyes? Yeah! Also, Candace told everyone to be careful! Yes, she did. But I think my point also bears repeating. Our plan is not child's play. We won't be able to achieve anything if we're simply careful. We must go beyond that and fully commit ourselves to it. I hope this is clear to you. Huh? Shouldn't you be saying something more cheerful to boost our morale right now? Didn't we already do that during the meeting? You can never have enough words of encouragement. In that case, Candace can cuddle you to your heart's content while I continue to remind you of the seriousness of our situation. We all have our jobs to do, after all. It's like how some people can be put in charge of logistics while others will fight on the front lines. Hmm. Speaking of the front lines, you don't look anything like a soldier. Well, of course. Compared to the mercenaries, I'm merely a feeble scholar. But the advantage of not being a mercenary is that I get to stay in a safer place and offer my strategic insight. Just think about that mercenary who lost his mind. Mercenary groups are facing constant danger every single day. Well, being a scholar is also a high-risk occupation, and you are a scholar! I'm not like the rest of them. Even among members of the same species, some will exhibit far more potential than others. This guy. <laughs> Paimon still remembers when those mercenaries in Port Ormos called you a lunatic. <laughs> All intellectuals are lunatics in the eyes of fools. I'll take that as a compliment. Hmm. That reminds me. Do you remember the record we saw in the King Deshret ruins? It mentioned forbidden knowledge. You have a good memory. Forbidden knowledge has the power to drive people insane, but this fact has never been shared with the public. Even I, who has worked in the academia for some time, was never once informed of this. 
I think those mad scholars and mercenaries we encountered may have all fallen victim to the corrupting qualities of forbidden knowledge. But the academia has always held a different view. They have always believed that symptoms of madness are a side effect of human contact with divine knowledge as mere mortals. Come to think of it, perhaps the academia has also never understood the true nature of forbidden knowledge and thus always approached the issue from the wrong direction. The Withering, Elazar, and the Sandstorms. Don't you think what is happening right now across Sumeru is rather similar to the forbidden knowledge pollution that occurred in the desert thousands of years ago? You've connected the dots. The cause of Soul's illness may precisely be the pollution from forbidden knowledge. But if that's the case, what should we do? This is huge! Wait. Why do you think Lesser Lord Kusanali would have a solution to this situation? You mean, it's related to the scene you saw when you passed out in the Avidia Forest? That whole, the world forget me thing? Hmm. In that case, it's imperative that we rescue Lesser Lord Kusanali. Only by working with her to save Erminsoul can we completely resolve the problems Sumeru currently faces. To make sure we're still on track, I would like to check on the state of some of our preparatory work. Where are we going? To an Aramite base. Whatever the boss says. It's all good. Whatever the boss says. <sighs> hmm. Oh, you made it. Huh? What are they doing here? I gave them some technical work to do. Ah, oh, it's the scribe. And is that the traveler I see? How's the work going? Ah, yes! We have fixed the devices according to your instructions. One of them is already ready for use, while the others are still under repair. Aren't those devices for can knowledge extraction? What are you doing with those? Look here. Uh, huh? M more can knowledge? Are you going to put more weird stuff into her head again? What's that look on your face? Are you scared? Paimon's a little scared, but... Very, very furious! Hmm. <laughs> That's an interesting response. Anyway, we're not going to use this just yet. As I mentioned during the meeting, this knowledge capsule contains a decree I drew up in the past. The Academia should also have their own copy. And according to the plan we just came up with... Traveler, I want you to record something into this capsule. Do you believe we can save Lesser Lord Kusanali? Good. Conviction is the most important part of all of this. Now, please get ready and put on this device. You want us to record our conviction into the knowledge capsule? 
Yes. Uh, Paimon is still really worried. I understand. But trust me, Paimon, this is something we have to do. It's best if you can do as I say. Because, to achieve this impossible task, it sounds like you'll need to fool your own heart first. Although it may feel like a trick, self-encouragement may be the most important tool we have. Hmm. Paimon can see the point you're trying to make. Imagine this. We have orchestrated our plan and successfully rescued Lesser Lord Kusanali. As a result, we have changed Sumeru's entire political landscape. Everything went without a hitch, and everyone recognizes and praises our achievements. Now, open your eyes. Here. What's this? Read it out loud. It's done. Is your head okay? Does anything hurt? It's just a recording. There should be no negative effects. But what was the point of doing this? Ugh, Paimon doesn't get it. And that's perfectly fine. In any case, these capsules aren't meant to be used by you. Have you forgotten? Our plan needs to account for those who have long relied on the Akasha. You may find it hard to believe, but for those people, everything the Akasha transmits to them is nothing short of absolute truth. Imagine if you've been using a device like the Akasha since the day you were born, and this device has always supported you during times of need. After all that time, what do you think you'd become? Uh, a fool? A machine? A slave to orders. And that's why rules are so important. In addition, those who understand the rules can delineate boundaries and identify gray areas. Hmm. But why would you need to identify the gray areas? You could say that those kinds of ambiguous zones can be very... interesting. One might even say they're advantageous in the right hands. The things you're interested in are really out there. Are all Sumeru scholars like this? Anyway, that's enough chit-chat. I'm going to take those two to work on some small projects. You can head to Caravan Rebot and start preparing for the next step. Small projects? We are going to tinker with the Akasha Terminal and make a few... modifications. <laughs>